Hello everyone, and welcome to our brand new world of Wolf Wilds. So the time has finally come, my friends. After hinting at it, after planning it for so long, we have finally created a wolf sanctuary that we are going to be following as we watch Ziaria here, our wonderful founder of this brand new world, settle into her brand new home in Wolf Wilds and get ready to hopefully help the place flourish and a national park pop up in what is otherwise pretty much a deserted wilderness. A, a very sad place where there are no longer any trees. Where are my trees? I demand trees. We have no trees. The mountains were even uh, like flat topped so you don't even have some of these beautiful mountains growing over here. Or growing <laughs> like a mountain grows. Ah. We don't even have the beautiful mountains over here, and instead we have the start of a brand new zoo. A new member in the Pixel Biology collection of zoos, and a brand new adventure that I am going to be sharing with all of you guys! And yes, it is going to star the Timberwolf, one of the most beloved creatures of all of our community. Holy moly, I know so many of you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. And as usual, it is going to star a world in peril, where we are going to use the proceeds and the process of building up this place to rewild and repopulate this wondrous land with some wild creatures and some beautiful, beautiful examples of what the wildlife of North America actually has to offer, including bringing in some animals that we have never before had in any of our pixel biology sanctuary zoos. Behold, the bison! Look at those fluffy old horns! Look at that fluffy forehead! Look at this thing! He's like a tank covered in fur! I love him! Uh, and he actually <laughs> happens to be my grandmother's favorite animal, my tutu lady, my grandma on my dad's side, my Hawaiian grandmother. For some reason, she just loved buffalo. And so I have a lot of fond memories growing up of Tutu Lady just being completely obsessed with American Buffalo. And occasionally we would go and actually see a few of them at a special sanctuary that was nearby. Keep in mind these guys really struggling with their populations. They inhabit not even, I don't even think we could call it fragments of their wild population anymore. They inhabit pin spots, just, just dots of their old habitat. Uh, and they're really hard to find. So when I was growing up, the only place we could see them was at a nearby farm that kept a few of them as like pet curiosities. And we would go visit them quite often because Tutu Lady loved them. It was very fun. And this guy, he's got a whole like mud wallow to wallow around in. They're gigantic. Like really don't take a buffalo for granted. They are gigantic. And we have never had them in any of our Pixel Sanctuary zoos, part of the Pixel Biology Network. And so it's very exciting to actually get a chance to see them. And I will introduce you to all of the individual uh, buffalo in just a moment. It turns out they have a great inter- Oh, that's so cute! You're kind of like a gigantic warthog. That's all I'm going to say about that. Definitely like a gigantic warthog. <laughs> But I will introduce you guys to the individual buffalo named after some of you guys from the comments of our previous Planet Zoo videos. Uh, in just a second, I want to show you what we have to offer for Wolf Wild's ranger station so far. One day, thanks to our wonderful efforts in the Pixel Biology Sanctuary Network, we will be able to transform this into a national park that rivals so many others and it will be able to be a source of inspiration awe wonder joy and just the overall thrill of the adventure of the wilds for all of our guests uh for now we have got one wolf three buffalo and a couple timber rattlesnakes hey guys who are actually puff outers but we're going to pretend these are timber rattlesnakes which you know this is this is not what a timber rattlesnake looks like however timber rattles timber uh, the timber rattlesnakes would be native to the same areas of north america that we could find the timber wolf and we could also find the buffalo so let me introduce you to the area Right over here, we have the main lodge. So this is actually a Wolf Wild Lodge. I need to like rename the whole thing. Here, this one, we'll rename this part. Wolf Wild Lodge. 
and it is currently a run by one of our amazing patrons who make it possible so that this zoo and all of our other adventures are even able to exist. Right over here, we have got Kayla. So Field Guide, Kayla is over here selling Field Guides, and thank you so much to Kayla and to all of our other patrons for being our patrons with YouTube and the world in such a precarious place. I truly don't know how we would keep our adventures going as often as we have them and across as many series as we do without your help. So thank you very, very much to all of our patrons for what you do. It is a true service to the entire pixel biology community and it's a true deep help sincerely to me. So I'm very proud whenever we start up a new zoo to have our patrons come on in. And Kayla is selling field guides and she's helping people to identify the different kinds of footprints that you might see from the wildlife in the area. And then we have also got a little staff area over here. So we have a little staff campsite that I can't wait to deck out a little bit more. Uh, oh, hey! And our vet has just come out. So this is actually our wolf vet. She specializes specifically in studying wolves. Gabriella, another one of our wonderful patrons. Oh, and hey, more of them. Right over here, we have wildlife ranger Kiera. So Kiera is our only keeper and she's the wildlife ranger keeping up on all of the animals around here. And then I love this woman right here. This is beaver researcher Kalino. And you guys may know Kalino from some of her absolutely amazing mods that she created. She is one of our patrons. And she, uh, I, instantly, I'm also one of her patrons. And she has the opportunity of being our beaver researcher, which I think is adorable. So Kalino loves to research beavers and study how they end up building things and use those skills to create even better builds for the national park, which is very exciting. So hopefully that will go well. Let's go ahead and set a perk more resilient to being overworked. Let's let's give these people some health care. There we go. Oh, hey, and then it's our very final member of our crew right now. The last person that we currently have from amongst our patrons. Oh, there's a lot of plants in here. I approve. But the final member of the crew that we have amongst our patrons uh, and our last staff member, Bonsai Artist Alexandria, who I am very excited to see as our caretaker. And Bonsai Artist Alexandria here is actually a Bonsai Artist. And that is going to be one of the specialties of Wolf Wilds as we build it and as we start decorating it and trying to make it a beautiful place for people to come and visit, you're gonna find so many of these little bonsais everywhere. And these are actually gonna be some of you guys. So I have a confession. You guys know how much I love squirrels. Those of you who have been in our community for a long time will remember my deep, deep, deep passion for Patches the squirrel. I freaking love that squirrel so much. One day in your memory, Patches, I should put together all of the cute videos I have of him because heckin' I loved him to pieces. And I've always wanted an excuse to put down tons of these little squirrel hedges. So we're going to have topiary squirrels and other topiary animals like the topiary fox scattered all over the wolf wilds. They're going to be created by our team of bonsai artists drawn from our patrons. And they're going to be named after you guys. So these are actually going to be another way that you can be added into our entire zoo. And I'm pretty excited, or our national park, I should say. And I'm pretty excited because uh, we're going to find really funny ways to just have topiary squirrels everywhere. And that is going to give all of you guys a much higher opportunity of ending up being here inside of the national park, the Wolf Wilds National Park somewhere. And so I would like to introduce all of you to Jenna the Squirrel Topiary. Your average Joe who left an amazing sweet message in one of our past videos. Thank you so much for that, your average Joe. I am so glad to know that we're still able to be an oasis of excitement and kindness in our adventures for you. And Thunderstrike, the, the topiary box. So I'm really looking forward to like filling in the gaps of a lot of what we have to put down through our whole national park with uh, some of you guys as cute little topiaries. And we're gonna find really hilarious ways to decorate those topiaries everywhere. It's gonna be awesome. But 
All right, now that I have introduced you to the staff, to the lodge, to our mission and dream of adding in more mountains, covering this place with creeks, filling it up with wild animals, it's time to go ahead and introduce you to the girl who I know all of you are actually here for. My friends, let's go say hello to Ziaria. Hello, gorgeous. So Ziaria is actually a gold level, beautiful female wolf that we actually had from our normal Zudesia Zoo, our, our Pixel Zoo. I don't even remember, our Pixel Sanctuary, there we go. We changed the names a few times so that we wouldn't confuse it with Zudesia Zoo from Minecraft. Um, but Ziaria here is our lead female. She is extremely healthy. She has great genetics. Her fertility is 100%. She's got great appeal. And we're going to be picking a mate for her, hopefully before the end of the day. And she lives here inside of this excellent enclosure. And normally I will put down like all rocks to block areas off, but I wanted to make sure people could see the wolves as well as possible, like as, as much as possible. And I learned something really cool I actually wanted to share with you guys. A while ago I was noticing when we were in our South American expedition that when I would put down some trees, my animals couldn't get around those trees. And that was really frustrating because I thought they should just be able to push their way through the greenery, right? Actually guys, it turns out these trees are amazing! You can actually use trees! There's nothing here. There's nothing but trees here. But you can use the trees to block your animals from escaping now. Look at this. If we go over to the traversable area for the wolf. Look at this. There's no fence here. I didn't build a fence. I didn't put down any rocks. There's just a null barrier right there and it's blocked by trees. We're going to be able to use trees to make more naturalistic looking barriers. I am so tickled about that. I don't know if it's always been like that, but it just took me a long time to clue in, and so I'm very happy that that's the case. So Ziaria, she is kept in here by some rocks, some trees, but she's very comfortable. She doesn't actually ever see anybody other than the keeper come in. And that's just our wildlife ranger who researches her after all. And she is kind of the star of the show right now, really helping to bring our wolf wilds to life. However, if she is going to live here in the wilds and here in our national park, she's going to need something to eat. And so that, my friends, is where our bison come in, who are actually currently mating. Woo, baby bison on the way! This is going to be a very special challenge, friends, because as our wolf pack grows, we are going to need to make sure that we have enough different prey animals to support their population scattered through the entire national park. And as our wolf pack begins to grow in the future and we have successful births and we have successful wolves um, added to our zoo or spreading into their own territories, we're actually going to have them take away from the prey population of our animals. So brace yourselves, friends. <laughs> we are going to roll a dice anytime a wolf is added or born into the zoo after the first two. We're not going to do that for Ziara's mate because we literally just started. Uh, and we're actually going to see if they had a successful hunt of one of our prey animals when that happens and one of the older prey animals or even the younger prey animals will end up disappearing and being like quote unquote taken by the wolves. And I think that's a really important thing to do to set a fun, well it's not fun for the animals, but to set a fun way for us to really acknowledge, oh my gosh it's snowing. <laughs> to really acknowledge that that's what the wildlife is like. If, um, why are you guys not going in here? Can you guys not get in there by chance? Or just not care? Oh, they can't get in here! Oh no! Here, let's tear down one of the walls and maybe that'll help. There. Okay, can you guys get in there now? There, now they can go in there if they want. 
Uh, but that would be a way to acknowledge kind of the food pyramid. If you want to be able to support an apex predator like a wolf, then you absolutely need to make sure that there are enough prey animals for them to eat. And buffalo, elk, deer, those make up a lot of a wolf's diet, especially the timber wolves who live in North America. So in order to make sure, like, and if, if we run out of prey animals, a, that's gonna suck, because I will get very attached to them, and I will not want the herd to thin too much. But B, if we don't have enough prey animals for the wolves we add in, uh, and the wolf births, then we have to roll a dice and see if they lost a pup, and we might have to, like, rehome or remove a pup or um, an adult wolf, an elder wolf, depending. Or, and that, that might be really tough. So it goes both ways. We're going to kind of try to grow the population in sync together. And eventually we might come up with more ways of making that happen. But I want it to kind of remain a little bit of a fun game for us. And also very inspirational and reflective. Just about how important it is to have this baseline ecosystem. All of the good grass that these guys eat turns into muscle, which turns into food for an obligate carnivore like a wolf. And we're going to try to reflect that somehow in the wolf wilds. For now, however, we're going to go ahead and get started with just Ziaria and her mate. So let's go ahead and get Ziaria a mate and we'll just spend the rest of today kind of sprucing the area up a little bit. And being very happy that our funds have gone up from negative, it was actually like down below a thousand dollars. And now we actually have quite a bit more money. Also, maybe we need to put in like a hot chocolate shop because it is very cold right now. But all right, let's go ahead and see if we can find Ziaria a mate. And we are not going to take away from the herd just yet with Ziaria's mate. But as soon as they start having babies, we sure better hope that we have... <gasps> There's albino bison? What? Oh my gosh, I want one. Okay, we just got an albino bison and she came with the snow. I love it. I love it. I, I, I had to go ahead and grab that one. That was just too cool. Uh, but once the wolf pups start being born, that's when we're going to have to start to roll and see you know, if they had a successful hunt, if they're able to feed their wolf pups. Maybe we'll also make a roll again when they mature to see if they survived pupphood. Um, and we're going to have to go ahead and pluck from our prey population, which means we need to get that prey population way up, which means that we need to be able to expand our bison area quite a bit to keep up with that. And also get some of the other animals, like the bison's interspecies bonus that they have with proghorn antelope added on in those are just the responsibilities we have if we want to have a obligate carnivore added in to our area uh, all right let's go ahead and name this beautiful beautiful albino american bison really quickly and this is actually going to be Willa, after cn or uh cn hester williams so we're gonna name her willa or Willow! Ooh, I like that even more! There we go. But this is Willow! Welcome, Willow! I like the idea that she wandered in with the, the storm we had. And I hope that they all have lots of babies so that we can have lots of wolf pups. And meanwhile, let's come over here and let's see if we can end the day getting Ziaria a mate of another timber wolf. A healthy timber wolf male. Alright, and I want male timber wolves and i would like a young male hmm now he's an older male how long are and he's expensive timber wolves are quite expensive oh my gosh how long are they life expectancy is just 12 years sexual sterility is at death ziaria is all already kind of old so we don't want to wait too long Hmm. Let's go ahead and... You know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna risk it, and we're gonna try to start strong. If we start strong, maybe we'll be able to keep our wolves really healthy. So let's adopt Tristan. Very expensive on my poor conservation credits, but I'm sure that we won't regret that. And again, normally, in the future, we would have to go ahead and remove a prey animal to welcome a new wolf in. 
but I don't want to do that just yet. Everybody have your babies. We got to prepare ourselves. And let's go ahead and roll the random generator to see. Let's see. Aelin! And Aelin has just come to join us, friends. Welcome, welcome, Aelin! Oh, this is gonna be so exciting! Hopefully we'll have some wolf pups soon. Which means that hopefully we can get a lot of the, uh, the bison and some of the antelope added in very quickly. So that we don't have to be really sad about, you know, losing out a lot of our, our critters. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. But all right, guys, our wolves are here. We have a wolf wild. We have the start to everything. We have the challenge of needing to make sure that we keep up the prey population and keep them going. Uh, fingers crossed that we won't have too many of them lost. Ooh, and it's snowing once again. <laughs> we also probably need to start putting out like some hot chocolate for guests who come to visit um, the national park. That's for sure. But we're not in debt just yet. So I have hope. I have hope that things are going to turn out well. And next time, we'll have to see if we end up with some wolf pups. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Let's just relax and watch this for a moment. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our wondrous wolves and the brand new wolf wilds that we have stepped into. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>